Hey guys, Jeremy with Strauss Home Inspections here at the inspection again. Want to talk about HVAC and airflow. This is the inside of the primary bedroom and this is the door entering into it. And when we look around the room, we have supplies into the room. In fact, we have four of them. One's in the bathroom. There's one. Come up, continue to go around. There's a third one. And then there's our fourth one. But what we don't see is the return. We understand the supply, right? We want cold air and hot air coming into the room, but we have to make a way for that air to go back to the furnace or air handler itself. There's a couple of ways that we do that. The first way is um, we actually have a ducted return going straight back to the furnace, but we don't have that here. So in this case, we would want at least a one inch gap underneath the door going into the hallway where the return grill is or we would have a pass-through return, which is above the door or in a wall that would go into the hallway. That's not very good when it comes to privacy for the primary bedroom. Or we would have what we call a jumper return, which is a grill here in the bedroom. And then we would duct, flexible duct over the wall, as it were, to another grill in the hallway so that that air could easily pass through into the hallway and into the return grill. So understanding airflow for HVAC is vitally important.